<laughs> Lovely, John, mate. Just tricked you there. That's got to be with you, especially on the time you come out of the phone. And this is kind of a heavy lad. Especially when they're not too bad. Oh, Jesus. Good evening, people. Right, it feels really weird. Is yeah, this even taller than me? I've, I've, got, got, I've the, got my chair pumped up. <laughs> I've got a midget chair, and I? Right, okay. So... Eaton, coming from Windsor, you see, Eaton mess, mixed berry sour, 6.2% ABV, S4 free, a UK brewery, although we're not going to go into the issues, but it is good to buy a British, as we know, don't we, um, mm -hmm. tasting notes um, from them, £4.90 this was, tasting notes I have on from my computer here, do excuse the voice, because I've had a bit of man flu, Plus, you chucked me out Saturday night and wouldn't let me in till the morning and got cold <laughs> in the bar. I didn't have a toilet, so I had to beg to come in. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Our first sour beer of 2022. Eaton Mess was brewed with the most food puree we've ever used before. A heavy malt bill of wheat and oats were used to provide a thick base. Then strawberry, blueberry, and raspberry purees were blended in along with vanilla and lacto culture to add yeah. some. It's lively. It was a bit. <laughs> to add some lovely sherbet like tartness, you can expect bright berry aromas, sweet fruity jam like flavours, finishing with a refreshingly tart kick. So, sounds pretty good. £4.90, although you did get 25% discount on their current offer. So, here's the pour. Unfortunately, I don't have the glass, unlike a certain other beer reviewer, does it? <laughs> has a huge glass collection, you know. Trust to say he hasn't. So, well, okay. Oh, so, yeah, okay. so it's a few bits in the bottom of that, isn't there? Yeah, there's a few bits That's in the bottom. Thing. I don't know if you see them on here. Um, no, maybe you won't. We were on a computer for the last one, but I paused and... But it, it was churning up a bit, I don't know why. Well, I didn't have it plugged in, but I thought with the rock box being right by the computer, the Wi-Fi would be perfect. Hmm. <laughs> okay, it's smart. Yeah. You're definitely getting some fruit flavours there. Yeah. I don't know about the vanilla they're talking about there. Yeah, I'd go along with berry. I'm really predominantly picking up on strawberry and raspberry in this one. What about the jam? I'm not sure about that. Yeah, but it I... has got, it's, it's kind of jammy fruitiness. That's what I'm saying with the strawberry. It's, it, it, yeah, I'd go along with that. It's not as thick as I would have expected it to be. But it was saying it's got those um, wheat and oats. It's no... Yeah, it doesn't look as thick as I thought. It doesn't smell like Novolt City though, does it? With the vibrant flavours. But there you go, £4.90 minus 25%. It's less than £4 and a 440ml for a sour. That's not bad, is it? Mm, okay, shall I go first? Yeah, you being a professional. <laughs> I feel like I've made you. Story of my life, mate. <laughs> now, okay, I'm going to let you go. Um... It's rough. Unfortunately, there is no texture in there at all, which um, looking at it doesn't surprise me that much. There's not the thickness that you would really expect there from this. And there is a nice light carbonation, which is quite refreshing. Um, I'm picking up kind of citrusy notes as much as I'm berry notes, which is yeah, weird um... because that isn't what they're telling you to expect. Well, there was a little bit of um, strawberry jam like there. Right. There's very little hint of a sour beer. So if you're looking for a sour beer, give this a skip. Yeah. Um, it's very sweet. Yeah. And what I've read on the computer there, it's like, I don't know. Maybe yeah, it's, it's not giving you that sour note that you expect from a sour beer. 
this tastes to me kind of like sure. um yeah just a, a fruit juice really and one yeah. that's quite artificially sweet tasting and yeah. not picking up any kind of sourness there it seems that they've tried to compensate for not having a sour flavor in there by by having this slight bit of um citrusy note there yeah i mean we did the I'm just going on the computer yeah. while it's right next to me. We did the pineapple mango sour there's that was much better. And we also did the key well I did the key lime, but you yeah, tried it afterwards. I tried it afterwards. The key lime was what it was, the key lime pie sour from the same brewery. That was pretty good. The pineapple mango darkiri sour was good, but this that's fucking horrible, seriously. Ah. It's but, it's disappointing to be fair. It really is. Um I'm I was expecting a lot of the flavours. I was expecting a lot more texture, a lot thicker mouthful. Um, they're just trying to rob the eating boys. You can see they're, not, yeah. they're not delivering, full stop. No wonder they've gone out of business. Yeah, that out. is... Crap like that. That's, just that's horrible. Not good. You know, I say you go to Volk City, you're important from America. Yeah. There's, there's tons of decent sales around, but that is just absolutely no. I mean, I'll try again, but... I, I can imagine sort of having... Um, a fruit juice concentrate that you put um, fizzy water with, and that is kind of the texture and feel that I'm getting from this. It's just sugar and sweet. Yeah. There's no hint of the, the topness of the sours or no. anything. Like I say, it's just like a jumped up concentrated fruit juice. And uh, for £4.90, that is poor. Jesus. Yeah. They didn't take enough of your 25%. It's bloody horrible. Um, that's the worst I've had from them. And so the other two sours were all right. I'm sure we did another one review of theirs, didn't we? I can't remember. We've got some more to do, but God help us if that's anything to go on. Yeah, that, that wasn't, wasn't really unfortunate. That wasn't nice. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Especially that money. As well. It was it's... my worst enemy. Don't bother. Yeah. I mean, we were talking on one of the other reviews, or I was, about the dodgy sales from Tesco's. Well, they're better than that. Yeah, I'd agree. So, what can we say? <laughs> it's a definite no no. It's not even worth rating. I don't have the. Bloody yeah, we haven't got them in there. We'll the have paddles. to sort that out. Won't we? Um, <laughs> I don't have the paddles. If I did, there would be no score. Yeah, no. Give that one so, a miss. Um, I wouldn't even get it to the dog. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching. Sorry, can't like them all. <laughs> See you next time. Bonjour.